Hey, what's up everybody? It's Vernon from Reptilia Exotica. I'm really excited to be home. I've been traveling all week and I had a special surprise waiting for me when I got home. I got a package from US Invertebrate Auctions and we are gonna do a quick unboxing video. I've got a whole bunch more really cool stuff coming so I might just make a, a compilation unboxing but I'm gonna record this right now and then we'll see what happens, see how long it takes and uh, how long the video is. But let's fucking see what we got. So I had a bigger package that had two smaller packages in it with a total of three different cultures here. The first one is Cuberis Marina. And we're gonna check these guys out. These guys, I believe they're really similar to the popular uh, Morph Rubber Ducky, but they're just all one color. They've got the same shape and everything. But they're super cool looking little guys. Look at this feisty little, he's ready to come out right now. Look at that little guy. He's like, let me out of here. Don't fall, bud. So these guys are alive and well. Very active. I hope I didn't lose another one while I was looking at this guy. But yeah, they're uh Got that cute little square face. There go. Next, we've got some Armadillidium granulatum. These cups are really nice. They're actually pretty tough to get the lid off of. So everybody's probably just going to stay right in here. I'm thinking. Let's see what we got in here. Boys and girls. Anybody yet? This one was upside down, so there we go. Here's one. There he is. Cool little yellow dots on him. Fast little bugger. Mm. Right in there, buddy. I mean, there's supposed to be 20 or so in here, but I don't know if I should really dig through this whole thing or not. I'm in there for sure. I feel like I should dig them out, but I don't know if I'm actually going to do that in this video. I don't want to have you guys sit here and watch me dig through this. Next up, we got the Armadillidium Nasatum Peach. Which I've got quite a few Armadillidium Nasatum. It seems to be the most common in the Midwest for me, even more so than the Vulgari. Uh, but these guys are really cool peach color, as you can see. It's a really neat designs going on in there. Look at those guys. They're pretty cool. These dudes look like they're doing pretty good in here. Pretty active looking. It's a nice leaf litter for them. Eli did a great job of setting these guys up, so I'm just gonna give them a little bit of extra food and probably just leave them right in here.
So we're gonna pretend like it hasn't been like three days and just jump right into this very special, exciting unboxing of a shipment from an undisclosed location. I'm really excited about these guys. Uh, they seem to be pretty well packed here. Let's get rid of all this. Be careful about pulling stuff out because I don't really exactly know how it's been packed. One full package. Two full package. Three full package. And four little packages in here. I think that's pretty much it. Get that out of the way. Four little packages. I'm not exactly sure what's in each, but I have an idea what we've got in total. So, very interesting little box. Here's my trusty knife. I actually really like this thing. It's an Onyx EDC. It's got a replaceable blade that you're supposed to just throw away. You can just take it off and put it right back on like that. It's pretty freaking sweet, but I have an awesome knife sharpener, so I just hold on to it. And... Ta-da! We have some very pretty Ropalomeris. Should be about 20 in there, I think. We'll count through them later. But... Oh yeah, there's definitely quite a few. So these are Ropelomeris with a reduced red. They're, they're basically black and yellow. A lot, uh, some of the other ones that we have have a like a red dorsal stripe and lots of red coloration on their skirt. So these guys have reduced red with basically just yellow and black. There's a little bit of red there. Actually, no, there's not. There's not any red there at all. It just kind of looks like there is on the dorsal stripe. If, if, if I showed you real close, you would see there's absolutely no red there whatsoever. So that's ship number one. Super exciting. Number two is some more Ropalomeris that Probably these are the ones that are similar to what we have already, but let's see what we got here. Whoa, dude, they look awesome. Oh man, they are gorgeous. Oh yeah, yeah, they look super, super clean, super pretty. Super excited about these guys. like everybody's alive and well which is awesome because they've spent the last few days in the mail and it's been sort of hot and sort of cold and sort of hot and sort of cold so you never know but that's another Ropella Maris and, and for those of you that haven't watched a video on these guys Ropella Maris are a pill millipede species and they are typically Asian I believe not sure exactly what what region they came from. These guys are captive born and bred. You can see one of these guys right there. Armadillidium gastrii, gastrii, I believe. I should have quite a few of them in here. Super awesome looking. Look at these guys. Yeah, they're 
super cool. Hmm. They look to me, they're an armadillidium species, but they look to me to be pretty similar in body composition to like the coloration of these spinacornis, so they all spinacornis, but these guys are armadillidium, meaning they can ball up. So I'm going to let these guys get back to whatever it was they were doing. And we're gonna move along. We had two in the in the last package. We had two different types of. Oh, so the last things. Those are actually uh, isopods. And the first things that we looked at were millipedes, pill millipedes. So we have Armadillidium coracerum. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, correctly or not. white modeling and patterning on them. I believe these guys are from Greece. Captive, born and bred, but the species is from Greece, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. I'm um, just kind of going off the top of my head here with all this. Mm -hmm. yeah, go guys. Like they came in a little little pill bottle. That's actually a pretty interesting little setup in there for them. Looks like we got tons of leaf litter. They seem to like that because they're definitely eating away at it, you can see. So I'm going to probably give them a similar setup. And we go to set the... Oops. So I'm going to sit down a little bit, pick through these guys, and get them set up. Get them put together in some really big, nice uh, little vivariums where they can kind of stretch out and do their thing. And hopefully everybody will be happy. Drop down zone. Me? Oh my.